Now, keeping you and your family safe. This is Two Works For You Weather, certified most accurate. <laughs> Well, the last couple of days, George mm -hmm. has been teaching um, Justin and I some stuff. Oh, and yeah? Remember yesterday? I don't the, think the, I've learned the, anything. <laughs> you probably haven't <laughs> paid attention. Shocked. The high, the record high lows, mm -hmm. lows highs, oh, that kind yes. of thing. Yes. The record yeah. max min is kind of that what was, we casually gotcha. call it. I that do was remember yesterday. That. It's kind of one of those weather records. You say what you say, you say, you say the record, <laughs> and people just kind of look at you like, huh, what? What does that mean? <laughs> This morning, we set a record low in Tulsa. It was a record high low temperature. The normal low for today is 40. This morning's low was 65. The old record high low temperature, does that make sense? Completely. Was 64 degrees, and that was set back in 1905. The actual record low, which you're probably more famil familiar with, is 21 degrees. So the second morning in a row, we set a record max min or high low. Good. 77 degrees at noon, 81 at 2 p.m., and 83 by 5. We've had to raise the forecast high temperature as we're seeing the sunshine coming out, the blue sky peering on through the clouds. 74 degrees, and we could almost get away with putting the heat index on for this afternoon as it is so humid. The wind has also picked up, as expected, since this morning. Right now we have a south wind at 18 miles per hour. Around green country on the way toward the mid-70s. It's 73 currently in Bartlesville, 73 prior 71 in Tahlequah, lower 70s toward Grove, Muskogee, Okmulgee, McAllister, and Eufaula in the lower 70s. South wind, right now it's between generally 15 and 25 miles per hour. This will be a breezy afternoon. The strongest wind will be between noon and 5, and these wind speeds could increase slightly, so it will be a windy Thursday. For today, we had the area of gray, the low clouds around this morning, and they have been burning off in places across green country, and obviously with the sunshine, we are seeing the warmer temperatures. We've also been tracking a few small showers. Tulsa area hasn't seen any rain. We've missed out on the rain. If Tulsa gets any rain, it would be very light rain. Most of us won't get any measurable rain. Earlier this morning, we did see a few small showers developing in far eastern Oklahoma near the Grand Lake area, the bulk of the rain forming farther to our east today in Missouri and Arkansas. Now, the future cast shows the breaks in the clouds for today, an overall more clearing out to the west, increasing rain chances to our east toward Arkansas and Missouri. This afternoon, we'll see temperatures reaching the low to mid 80s and breezy. Overnight tonight, we'll see the clouds building in. So, this means by tomorrow morning, we will begin Friday morning with cloudy skies, and we'll also see another low chance of rain to begin Friday. For today, 83 the high this afternoon, south wind to 15 to 25, highs around the rest of green country. We have updated this map since earlier, low to mid 80s, still water nearing 85 today, 81 degrees in McAllister. For tonight, mostly clear early, then increasing clouds, low temperature tonight in the mid 60s. Actually, I'm going to update this to a low of 65 for tonight with the south wind. There it is, 65 in Tulsa, 60 in Bartlesville, 61 Grove, 63 in Tahlequah. Now, here's some of the changes we've made. We've raised the high temperature for both today and tomorrow as we're seeing the sunshine peeking on through. We'll see increasing rain chances for Friday night and early Saturday. So some of your plans that you may have for St. Patrick's Day on Saturday could be wet. We'll be tracking showers. Then looking ahead toward next week, still looks like heavy rain potential toward Monday and Tuesday. There's a lot of rain potential right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, All right. George. Thanks, George.